Hey guys, so I have gotten a ton of requests to do a tutorial, I guess, on how to magnetize um, a soothing kind of pacifier, or I guess one like this. So that is what I'm going to do for you guys tonight. Um, I have been posting a ton of pictures recently. I got Drew this new little um, like pacifier holder, and it came with a whole bunch of these soothing passies, and I don't know about you guys, but these are definitely my favorite types of pacifiers. I'm not quite sure why, but I just really like them. And I have my own way of magnetizing them, and I thought I would share that with you guys today. So, let's get started. So, the items that you guys are going to need is, of course, your pacifiers. And I'm actually going to be magnetizing this one today for you guys. I have two separate ways that you can do it, but I'm going to do um, this one first. And, of course, you're going to need a magnet. And I always like to have a pair of tweezers around just in case because you don't want to get any super glue on your fingers. And then it's just some paper towel. And then I do have an extra t-shirt that is just my scrap t-shirt that I put um, some material on the end of the pacifier just so that the magnet doesn't rub off on the Reborn. And of course you're going to need some super glue. As you guys can see, my super glue is like completely gone. So a different or I guess alternative option, you can use E6000, which I do have. But it is a very, very big applicator, and it just will not work. Um, or you could use this silicone glue. I've actually never tried this silicone um, before on a pacifier, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. Because that is what I use to seal my bottles, which is going to be the video after this one. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But I'm going to go ahead and seal it with this kind of um, glue, I guess, and see if it works. So, yeah. So there are basically two separate ways you can do this. Um, I am going to show you guys the way that I know how to do it, but I'm sure there's other ways that you can do this. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys the way that I know how to do this. So um, since Drew already has a clear one, I am going to do this green one. And I've had this one literally for the longest time. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you are just going to take a pair of scissors and your pacifier, and you're just going to want to, I guess, cut like about halfway between the actual like nipple and then like this little base part. So that's what you're going to do is you're just going to cut about halfway through. Just cut that off. And you're going to... Blah, blah, blah. I literally cannot even talk. It's 10.30 at night and I cannot talk. So <laughs> what you're going to do is you can see it has a little hole in it. And this one is different from this one because this has like the little edge on it and this one doesn't. But what you're going to do is you're going to do that. And you're just going to take this, I guess. I'm just going to let you guys watch how I do this. But you're just going to take that. And you're just going to slowly want to work it into that little center groove. And push it down. And that's what it should look like. So on this side, you should have the little nipple slightly coming through here. And then you should have a little rounded edge here. And you can continue pushing it down and working it through however you want. If you want like more showing on this side and it to be more like leveled out here. Um, just kind of depends on how you prefer it. But that's what I'm going to do for now. Once you have completed that step, you're just going to want to get your magnet and put it against your Reborn. And find out obviously which side is attracted to the Reborn and which one is not. So that is what I'm going to do right now. See which one fits him. So the side that, um, I guess, is attracted to his magnet in his mouth, you're going to want to have that facing upwards. So this side right here is the one that faces, I guess, his magnet or the one that, I guess, like, is attracted to his magnet. I'm not sure how to explain it. Um, so you're just going to want to sit it in there, and this one fits, like, literally so perfect in there. So, like I said, there are multiple ways you can do this. With the one that I already did, um, I ended up putting some super glue down in the nipple part, and then I pushed the magnet down, and then I put a little bit more on top, and then cut out a piece of the material. For this one, since it does fit in pretty snug, I am still going to take a little bit of my silicone sealant and drop just a little bit down in the nipple just to kind of secure it from underneath, but then also secure it on the top. Thank you. 
So as you guys can see, I have the magnet placed in there. There is um, a little bit of the silicone sealant on the top, and I am just going to drop down that um, piece of cloth again. That just basically helps to protect so that the magnet doesn't rub against your Reborn. But that's all you're going to want to do. And you guys can get this silicone sealant um, from Walmart. It's only a few bucks. I think it's like 2 or $3. And it works very, very good. But if you do get the silicone sealant, you're going to want to make sure it is the blue one. Um, because that one is waterproof. And it's just a lot better. Um, especially if you're going to use that for bottles. That's what I use for bottles. But yeah. So that is how it turns out at the end. It works amazing and it looks really really good and I completely love this way of doing that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys found this helpful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up that was like such an awkward like thumbs up like thumbs up people um but yeah like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I guess I can put the camera back on Mr. Drew but yeah, so this is how it turns out at the end. And something funny that I thought um, I would share with you guys is... What, hey, but can you stop? I'm trying to record a video. Um, but like I said, something that I thought was funny while I was filming this video... Or not filming, but when I was doing um, this for this pacifier is... You guys can kind of see how like shiny... This one is, and it's very soft and shiny. And if you do use super glue, it changes the material of, um, I like the look, I guess, but also the feel of the actual pacifier. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm hoping that my camera is focusing and picking up on this, but um, it is definitely a different shade. And it's more of a like matte finish rather than a shiny finish. And eventually I can kind of see that it's kind of in a way starting to kind of crack. So I would definitely honestly just recommend the silicone sealant because um, obviously the nipples on a bottle are the same material as these kind of pacifiers. And it doesn't like rot I guess if you will. Um, the way that the like nipple on the bottle looks so I would definitely recommend this um, silicone sealant right here again you guys can get this from Walmart for like two or three dollars but yeah so that was my video like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to stay tuned for my next video which is going to be how to seal seal so I don't even know what I'm saying. How to seal a bottle. So I also forgot to include that you're going to want to let this dry for at least like four to six hours. I mean, it completely depends on what kind of bond, um, I guess, you use. This one says to um, let it cure for 24 hours. So I, what I like to do is I usually like to do it like mid-afternoon or late at night. That way... It can have basically all night to set and dry, and usually with this kind of a sealant, I find that it will dry within like three to four hours, um, and it works, you know, it just works really well. So I'm going to let this dry overnight, and that is all for this video. Bye!